In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use chat PDF to interact with PDF documents. There are so many good use cases for this, but it's really perfect for longer documents like research papers, technical documents like instruction manuals, or financial and legal documents like business annual reports and contracts. It's like having the author of the document on the other end of the chat who'll not only answer all your questions, but will provide clarification and explanations. Let's dive in so that I can show you how this works. Navigate to chatpdf.com. In this first example, I'm going to upload a PDF document from my computer. I just picked up this Zoom H5 recorder secondhand, and I haven't figured out some of the basic functions yet. So I'm uploading this 116 page manual so that I can ask about the specific functions. Once the PDF loads, it'll provide a brief overview of the doc and provide three sample questions you can ask. You can click on any one of these or you can ask your own questions. I'm going to ask how to set the date and time for this recorder. And just like that, it tells us the steps to do this and also tells us where we can find this information in the manual. So if I go to page 16 of the manual, there it is. Let's ask another question on how I can format the SD card. And boom, it's so quick. And let's check the page in the manual. And of course, there it is. And for good measure, we'll ask another question that's maybe not so straightforward. Again, chat PDF has no problem answering the question. And we'll check the page again. So I don't know about you, but I think this is amazing. For the next example, let's try an academic research article. I'm going to search for a PDF online using this option. I'm looking for an article about procrastination in students. And this search is online and provides the results. I'm going to select this one here. Again, it shows a brief summary with three example questions. Let's click on the first one. And as we might expect, it provides some of the common causes of procrastination. Okay, so let's ask our own question. I want to know if this thesis cites other research or work. And it says the document doesn't cite any other sources, which is fine, fair enough. Let's ask another. Since in the previous answer, it listed anxiety as one of the causes for procrastination, so I want to understand how it causes it. And it gives us an answer. For the last example, let's look at an annual business report. As anyone who's ever reviewed an annual report knows, it contains a lot of info, including financials, and can be really time-consuming to digest. This time, I'm going to choose the From URL option, and paste it in the link to this Amazon annual report. Again, a summary and three sample questions are provided, but let's ask our own. What are some of the business risks you face? And it gives us this really insightful answer. Let's ask another question about their innovation. And that they plan for a satellite network for global broadband and also self-driving vehicle for ride hailing services. This is super interesting. I mean, we can be here all day interacting with this PDF, but you get the idea. So what's amazing is that this service is free for up to three PDF per day. It does limit the size of the file as well as the number of pages and questions you can ask. But if you think you'll be using this often, you can upgrade to the Plus plan for just $5 per month. Now I understand that OpenAI's ChatGPT will be making plugins available in the very near future, which will include the ability to work with PDFs. So I'm really curious to see how that differs from this. But for now, I think ChatPDF is a very powerful and useful app, and I encourage you to give it a try. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, please make sure to give it a like. And if you want to learn more about using AI in your workflow, check out this video next.